Pacing When the R-series is used with the one-step complete or pacing electrodes, a separate ECG cable is not required because the three leads are built into the front electrode pad. When using one-step pacing or one-step complete electrodes, make sure that the ECG end of the one-step cable in the back of the defibrillator is plugged in. If these electrodes are not used, you must first attach an ECG cable to the device and place the three-lead ECG electrodes on the patient. To begin pacing your patient, turn the dial to Pacer. The downward spikes indicate pacing pulses. The rate will default to 70 pulses per minute unless your institution has configured it otherwise. Next, increase the output by turning the dial clockwise. Normal range for capture is between 40 and 80 milliamps. Usually, when obtaining capture, you will overshoot the patient's threshold. If this happens, decrease the output slowly until you just lose capture. The minimum output that obtains capture is the patient's threshold. Once you have determined the pacing threshold, set output to 10% above that. Confirm electrical capture by viewing a downward pacing spike followed immediately by a widened QRS and an extended, sometimes enlarged, T-wave occurring at the selected pacing rate. The intrinsic rhythm should be absent. Mechanical capture can be confirmed by physically palpating a femoral or radial brachial pulse. At any time during pacing, you can use the 4 to 1 button to determine the patient's underlying rhythm. Press and hold the 4 to 1 button. This suppresses three of four pacer impulses to visualize the underlying rhythm without losing capture.